Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where it almost being Christmas, of course I had to do something Christmas related. And going through this cookbook, I found something that I have not seen since I was a child, and I very much just knew I had to make these. So come join me as we make candy cane cookies. First thing you're going to need to do is sift one cup of confectioner's sugar. Uh, I guess Babish has his tiny whisk. I have a tiny sift, so use whatever size sift you have to get all the lumps out of your confectioner's sugar. Once finished sifting, you will add one cup of butter, one egg, one and a half teaspoons of almond extract, and one teaspoon of vanilla, then mix until well combined. Now we're going to set that aside and take two and a half cups of flour and one teaspoon of salt and stir it together until that's well combined. And then we will slowly add that to the batter we already have until it is all well incorporated. Now we're going to split the dough in half and in a separate bowl, add half a teaspoon of red food coloring and mix that in together until you've got a nice reddish pink dough. Now comes the task of taking one teaspoon of the red dough and one teaspoon of the white dough, stretching them out into thin strands, twisting them together, and shaping them into candy canes as best you can. Uh, this recipe says it makes about four dozen cookies, so make sure you have plenty of sheet pans on hand to make all of these cookies. Then you will put those into a 375 degree oven for exactly nine minutes. You don't want to do any more of that. Even if the cookies don't look like they're done, if you go over that, they're going to turn into sawdust and be completely flavorless. You're going to want to pull them exactly at nine. I can't stress that enough. Then also the recipe called for doing one half cup of sugar and one half cup of crushed peppermint. I used my official peppermint hammer crusher to do this. And as soon as they come out of the oven, you sprinkle this on top. But honestly, this is a completely pointless step as none of the sugar actually sticks to the cookies themselves. You can just completely skip this. Just go ahead and have the cookies as is because these are pretty fantastic cookies. Uh, the almond flavor in them makes them very nice. They're not super sweet. You can have basically all of these at once and go enjoy yourself. A Merry Christmas. We will see you here next week for another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.